Okay. Saturday, 3.20. Had a little more gunfire last night. A lot more this afternoon. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Why anybody be randomly shooting in this kind of situation. Unless you're shooting at looters and didn't sound like that and didn't sound like a gunfight, so you shouldn't be fucking doing it. And it'd be great fun to go out in my backyard where I can do it and just rip off a few hundred rounds, but I'm sure everybody around me would shit their pants. <coughs> People are stupid. Anyway. Got over 15 hours, I think, out of a tank of gas in this generator ran all night. I filled it at 8 o'clock, and I shut it off, I don't know, 1, one o'clock or something. Yeah, no, around 12 o'clock. Shut it off around 12 o'clock to go to the grocery store, give it a rest, and not attract the fucking looters. But that was great. I left it empty. Went to the grocery store. Publix is up and running just fine. Even took my credit card, so I ain't believing my cash dry again. Which I... Not so luckily, had quite a bit of, but also tore through quite a bit of. <clears throat> uh, yesterday was, or maybe it was this morning, pretty much threw everything out of the refrigerator. It was all fucking evil. Little bit of stuff survived in the freezer because it was froze solid and full of frozen bottles of water. But, got a little meat, cat litter for a number of uses, works good in the bags and the toilets for after you do your business. Some more uh, Febreze, which is also good for in the toilet, and the sewage stink that surrounds us now that the water's receding. Got some fresh veggies, onions, peppers, mushrooms, all that good shit. Got some chicken salad so I won't lose my fucking mind. More coffee, sugar. I've uh, got a fried chicken, some big garbage bags, uh, cat food. Stopped and got uh, 15 more gallons of water from my guy over there, like Placid. And some cough drops, cigarettes, and acid. Rhonda's sick. Didn't manage to get any white gas. No. Wasn't planned. On a real busy day today, anyway. Come back here and filled the tank up in the generator and cranked it back up. Offloaded all that freaking water that weighs a ton. And, uh, got a couple hours nap until a gunfire started. Which almost always wakes me up. Anyway, I got up this morning and Rhonda yanked the rug out of the flooded back room outside and swept a lot of the crap up and all kinds of little vegetation shit that got in here with the water and we just covered everything about a foot and a half high. Anyway, she swept all that out so we ain't tracking and all messing it out as we go out the back door which is the usual way in and out of this place, even before the flood. The dog got down there, got into it, and ended up getting locked in jail in this big carrier box. Uh, she busted her hump. I don't know how she got that carpet out by herself, but she did. <coughs> uh, I'm almost afraid of looking in that room. There was a I looked the other day and I noticed I have a thermal pod that 
pretty much sees in the dark. It has a high high depth cam, a laser, and has a thermal sensor. You can see uh, body heat out to about 185 yards, and it's all programmable to where you can set it up to run search patterns and stuff. Anyway, it was I noticed its box laying down in the floodwaters and got pretty sick. That's about a four or five thousand dollar box. Anyway, a little while ago, I drug it out of there. And uh, wiped it down. Rinsed it with some fresh water. I got it sitting out in the step, drying out further. I'm going to take my jeweler screwdriver to it and take it all apart. And hit it with a toothbrush to take a look at what I got inside. Hopefully it ain't blown. <laughs> hit it with a little more fresh water and some electronic cleaner that I have. And hope I can save that thing. It's just too much money to have to go down the train. Anyway. I'm babbling. I'm, I'm only half here anymore. I ended up leaving a five gallon bucket over in Lake Placid yesterday. I loaded two or three of them in the back of the gym and I went back and I shut the hose off for the guy and walked right past the five gallon bucket sitting there and I filled and got in the car and left. <clears throat> I mean, at times a bit more short-tempered than usual, but I've actually been asking God to give me a little more control and a little more patience and a little guidance in how to get through this shit without blowing up and going ape shit. Generally, disaster doesn't bother me much. But the usual that does bother me bothers me even more. Anyway. Came home. Made some waffles. A waffle and some uh, corned beef hash. In the mood for that, that was pretty good. Because I was starving by the time I got home. And, uh, today, yeah, I may still try to set up my laundry. I gotta, I gotta recover another bucket here. I already got a laundromat bucket that Rhonda cleaned up for me yesterday with a bleach and fabuloso and a scrubby scrubby sponge and I gotta get another one for a rinse bucket I've got this neat little plunger thing here that works like a charm I washed a little bit of stuff yesterday and rinsed it out in the sink dried out and it's really clean actually Rhonda thought I was gonna have to throw one of the towels out and it's like new Anyway, no racing unless I get a lot of help to get this race car together for October. Actually, I would like to do that just to escape all the shit that's happened this month. Reggie said I could take the race car trailer over to his house, so that'd be cool. <coughs> I can put it together over there, most likely, just take some water over and throw it in the cooler. But generators running like a top. Fridges already frozen. Water bottles. Got ninety bucks worth of food at at uh, Publix and some 
medicine shed at Walgreens. 15 gallons of water to work with to clean up. I think I'm gonna get a, another good shower tonight. Put, a, put about four or five gallons in that bucket I had. <clears throat> so, when I get around to it, Facebook, Battle Box, Ronin Racing, and the people follow my page. Here's the part of Saturday and post Wilma. Fuck, I don't even know what hurricanes we got anymore. Post Irma hurricanes. There's some worse places in Highlands County. I got a newspaper, but there's some lot lighter places, and there's quite a few people whining about petty bullshit. And not no real mention about the people that are really kind of in that shit like we are here. There's a road closure sign up on the end of River Drive now, and we're not allowed to come in here. But obviously, I am here. Parts of the road west of me are actually dry, but right in front of me, probably a hundred yard stretch in front of me, is still over the top. And there's some moron called Alan J to tow their car out on a flatbed. <clears throat> anyway, Saturday in Sebring, Florida. Out.